Have you ever said to yourself, you wonder where all the money is? Listen, guys, oftentimes I have clients come to me and say, I made the money, but I don't see the results in my bank account. If that's you, hang tight. I need to have a conversation with you. Hey there, this is Dr. Cosette, America's number one tax and accounting strategist. And I wanted to hop in today to answer this question that is always coming through the phones, always in my DM, always in my email. And that is, how do I know that I need to file taxes? Or how do I know that we need to file taxes for my son or daughter? The first thing I'm gonna ask is, what is your filing status? Are you filing single? Are you filing head of household, married filing separately, married filing jointly, or are you a widower? Those are the questions that I, the number one question that I'm gonna ask. From there, I'm gonna ask for you to tell me a little bit about your income. What is the estimate amount of money that you made in the prior year? Because that's gonna help me gauge once I know what your filing status is and your income, that'll help me gauge whether or not you may, and I say may with emphasis on that, you all need to file a tax return. If your gross income is lower than the standard deduction allowed for you, depending on your filing status, then you may not be required to file a tax return. Keep in mind, if someone has carried you or will be carrying you as a dependent on their return, then there are implications as well. All right, so welcome back. As I said, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about five reasons why your brand isn't growing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Number one, your brand is not good. So what is it that I mean by your brand is not good? Maybe the brand is not getting the recognition that it needs, or maybe your brand is not increasing in its business value, or maybe branding needs to generate new customers. You see, when we brand, our purpose of branding is so that we can take our cold leads, convert them into our warm leads, and ultimately convert them into clients, all right? The second reason is because you don't focus on your ideas. So what is it that I mean by not focusing on your ideas? You have a good business owner needs to focus on ideas and really know what they need to do to make ideas become more practical. Focus on your creative passion and find out what your customers want. What is it that your customers need? And then you need to focus on the sales aspect of things. And I like to say, follow one course until you are successful at it. All right, number three, you stop growing. So you need to continuously, consistently grow you all. We all know that if we're not growing, if we're not in front of our ideal clients, if we're not making the sales that we need to, then of course our business will stop growing. The sales will stop coming in and ultimately our business could fail. All right, if you are a tax professional and you're looking to grow, you have to continue doing the same things that you were doing that got you started initially. Yes, as you grow, you will change and your customers are gonna change, which means your services may change, your prices are gonna change, but you as the CEO of your organization, you have to make sure that you are mindful in making sure that you are doing things to consistently grow your organization, okay? We're in an environment right now where everything is virtual, but just because we're in that type of environment, that doesn't mean that you don't position yourself in front of individuals that can help you grow your business. You know that saying, they says it takes a village. It does, it takes a village to grow our business as well. We have to continuously network, we have to collaborate, and we have to connect with individuals that are going to help us elevate, all right? So the next thing is maybe you're not starving. You know, you're starving your business of marketing needs. We have to continuously put our products, our services in front of our ideal client. 
You know, when we put our services in front of our ideal client, they're nine times out of 10 not ready to buy. They say when we put our products and services in front of our ideal client, only about maybe 10 to 20% of those are ready to buy. So the other 80%, we have to continue to nurture them, which means we have to make sure that we have a marketing strategy in place and we have to have that plan devised and outlined and we have to stick to it. You know, one thing that I teach my clients is that when we have our KPIs, our key performance indicators, we have to continuously look at those things, continuously look at the numbers. Maybe we need to make some shifts. If we know that we have a goal to bring on a hundred new clients, then how are we going to get there? What does the marketing strategy look like? Are we evaluating it for process improvement? Are we watching our numbers to ensure that we hit our targets so that we can bring on those 100 clients? Okay, our marketing strategy has to speak to our ideal client. If our marketing is not speaking to our ideal client, then we are wasting time. Time is money and money is time, you guys. All right, so what is your marketing strategy? What does it actually say? All right. The next one, I talked about this a few mo moments ago. We have to ensure that we are associating ourselves with the right individuals. We have to make sure that we network. We have to make sure that we collaborate and connect, okay? I did not make it to the point that I'm at today in my business without connecting with people that could help me get where I'm at. Also, I like to say this because it always reminds me of how I landed on Fox 40. I always say a closed mouth never gets fed. Okay. It's who I associate myself with. How I landed on Fox 40, you all, it was very simple. I was on the show as a guest. And I remember making a post on social media and one of the hostess said, tag me. So when I tagged him, I got in his DM and I asked, who is in charge of the station for permanent guests or something like that, I asked. And I said, do you have a resident Money Matters person? He said, no. He said, give me your information and I'll connect you with the correct person. So again, are you associating yourself with the wrong people? Remember, if you associate with those who inspire you, who help you grow, who help you motivate, then when you need those individuals to maybe position you and angle you so that maybe you can get in a magazine spot, maybe you can get on a television show, maybe you can speak before your ideal clients, you need to connect. You need to associate yourself with the right people who are going to help you elevate Okay. If we associate with people who encourage us and motivate us, we grow. If we make um, connections with people who are going to position us into the spots that we would like to be into, we are going to grow. You see, by positioning you into some of the spotlights, then they, then that means that you're being positioned in front of hopefully your ideal clients. Because remember, Marketing is about speaking to your ideal clients. It's about making sure that your message speaks to your ideal clients. All right. So are you afraid to invest? Come on, you guys. Are you afraid to invest? If you are afraid to invest, then let me just tell you, it's going to take you twice as long, three times as long, maybe even four times as long to grow your firm. You have to make huge investments in yourself, your personal development, your business development in order to grow. Investing could be taking personal development courses. Investing means investing in a coach, looking at a mentor, but it means investing in yourself, developing yourself to become a better version of you, okay? Invest in good marketing, invest in someone that's gonna help you devise a strategy plan, ensure that your messaging is where it should be 
and such that you're speaking to your ideal client. Okay. And invest in the right people, you all. You know, I remember the very first time, which was probably almost 10 years ago, when I decided that I needed a coach. I was tippy toeing around with the idea, but I knew that in order to get out of that point where I was pretty much stagnant, that I had to invest in a coach. And the very first coach that I invested in helped me grow my business leaps and bounds. Now, I'm gonna say this, at every level, we need to elevate to the next coach because one coach may get us to a point where they've done all that they can for you. You know, they've gotten you through that initial stage. But once you take off and you begin to grow and scale, then at that point, you need another coach who can help you reach that next milestone. All right, so don't be afraid to invest. Invest in the right people, invest in the right marketing plan, and make sure that you invest in yourselves. All right, so I wanna invite you guys. I have a course, it's called Tax and Accounting Institute, where I help tax professionals grow their firm by understanding who is your ideal client? What niche do you need to or want to or can practice in? You see, one thing that I know for sure is we can't serve everybody, but if we began to peel back the onion and determine who is it that we want to start messaging to, who is our ideal client? What industry do we want to work with? Is it cosmetologists? Is it dentists? Is it attorneys? Is it the legal industry? Who is it that we want to really work with? Once we narrow down on a niche and begin to speak to those individuals, then guess what? Our brand will begin to start um, speaking for itself. We will begin to market specifically to those individuals and you will begin to see a trajectory in your business. If you are interested in learning more about the Tax and Accounting Institute course that I offer, it's a 12 week course. I'd love for you to uh, jump on a discovery call with me so that we can go through what that looks like, how you can grow your firm leaps and bounds this year. All right, so as I said, I invite you, I'm gonna leave the link so that we can get on a discovery call to learn more about the Tax and Accounting Institute program that I offer for my tax pros. It's a 12 week program and you don't want to miss out. Okay, I just said you gotta invest in yourselves. All right, so I look forward to having a conversation with you. I'm gonna leave the link in the video thread below. All you gotta do is click on that link, schedule an appointment and myself or one of my um, sales associates will be on the phone with you going over what it looks like for you to change the trajectory of your tax firm in 2022 and years going forward, not just today, but moving forward. All right. So I want you guys to go on out there, have yourselves an awesome and amazing day. And if you could do me a favor, leave a comment down below. All right. Leave a comment down below for me. And don't forget to do what? Hit that subscribe button so that you can continuously get notifications each and every time I post something. Now, listen, I make it a point to try to make sure that I post for you guys or go live for you guys every Wednesday and every Monday. If I don't go live, I promise you that I will make some type of post here on YouTube so that we are getting to know each other, like each other, and trust each other. Because see, that's another component of it. Those that are watching you, they need to get to know you, they need to get to like you, and they need to trust you. All right, so until we meet again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys leave a comment below and make sure you share this. Make sure you invite other tax pros that are looking to grow their business, scale their business and leverage. Invite them over to my channel, okay? You guys have yourselves an awesome and amazing day. I can't wait to connect next time. All I need for you to do so that we can carry on this conversation to determine if we are a great fit to work with one another is click on the link above or click on the link that I have below so that you can get on my calendar and have a quick tax discovery session to determine if we can work together. All right. Or even if you need to have that 
uh, tax return filed. All right, listen, all you need to do, stay connected with me throughout this tax season and all year long. Follow me on all social media outlets. Make sure you stay tuned to me on YouTube because I do go there as well uh, to give you tax tips, to give my CEOs tips for reducing their taxable income, growing their firm, growing their profit, multiplying their bottom line, and of course, to my tax professionals.